Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a queen in the kitchen who first bust on the scenes on Bravo hit TV show, Top Chef. And after seven seasons as co-host on The Chew, she's now launching her third cookbook, Carla Hall's Soul Food, Every Day and Celebration. Please welcome Chef Carla Hall. Yes. <laughs> Paying for breast cancer. Yes, right? and, and you fell right in line with that. Yeah, I got the memo. You did. You checked your email, honey. I live for that. You okay. look so beautiful. Thank love you. Love you. Yes. Love, you. love yes. you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. course, you're always welcome at the circle. Yeah, I'm that. Just always welcome. Always, always welcome. welcome. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully, I'm soon to be married. But <laughs> you and your husband have this thing when you're in public, and you say, "Who and who?" Ooh. Yeah. Tell us about that. How did that happen? So it was a two-part call that we started doing when we would go out to a grocery store mm -hmm. to find each other. So one of us would say, Hootie, and the other would say, Who? And, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it became Hootie, like WHO, like who's saying that? Because, you know, Hootie Who's from everywhere. Yes, because yes. Because we would say, Hootie Who, like who what? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny because I thought you guys just loved Master P. Yeah, <laughs> Hootie Who! Yes. <laughs> Well, listen, I want to talk to you a little bit about when you first came on the scene. Yeah. We, we met you on Top Chef. Yes. How did you land that? Um, I had so my sous chef came in one day and said, I had a dream you were on Top Chef. Oh, wow. That day, I had a call saying, We're calling for Magical L's with Top Chef. I'm like, oh, No, you can't punk me. And it was real. What? And then I went to um, an interview, and then the next interview, the next interview, and it was all from a friend who said, who gave them my name, wow. and I didn't even realize it. I went to her for a reference. She was like, of course, because I gave them your name. I'm like, what? I've never asked you for anything, and the wow. fact that I would ask you now for a reference, and you're the one who gave them, I'm like, what? She already did the reference. Yes, she yeah. did. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. But the friend that was your sous chef, uh, yeah. they have psychic ways. I'm sure you're still friends with them, right? I, I don't and know. I should have called them, right? they look into the future. Wait, can I just tell future. you about my psychic thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I went to a psychic season two when I thought I was going to get fired from mm -hmm. the chew. Uh -uh. And they're like, no, that show's going to go for five more seasons. <gasps> no. I, I know. I'm <laughs> telling you. So when everybody else was like, oh, I was like, oh, wait. I knew this already. Oh, right? Mm. I, right? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow. oof. well, was it like a bittersweet moment when it was canceled? I, I was like, oh, my God. I love that. I love yeah. that job. I love the people that I worked with. It was so much fun. Yeah. I mean, just like you all yeah. are having fun yeah. and your friends and it's yes. real. Mm -hmm. It was real. Yeah, and you're yeah. so connected with your co-host. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Such see, a great that's show. so dope. Yeah, I we did a certain type of way mm -hmm. when, when, it, when it was canceled. Oh, everybody. I was it so was like, heard about that. Well, it was like living through a funeral. Yeah. Oh. Because people were telling you, oh, you were with me when I was at hospice with my mother or mm. when I had gave birth. You know, mm. we were getting all of yeah. these stories and, and it was nothing like it you yeah. know executives were telling us and so clinton michael and i did a facebook live recently yeah yeah, yeah. we're trying to break the internet <laughs> <laughs> you know it, it was so much fun well i want to talk to you a little bit now about soul food why now do you choose to produce a book focusing on soul food i eight years ago i had my dna done mm -hmm. um and then my mom's family um yoruba people from nigeria yes. my dad's people uh, the booby people from Bioko Island. I am the culinary ambassador to the African American Museum. Mm. Yes. So after going through one, finding out, out what my people's di diaspora was, and then looking at the African American Museum, we have so much to be proud we of. Yes. We do. Soul food is our history. Mm -hmm. So unapologetically, I wanted to take what all of these culinary historians were doing and then moving it to the spotlight to pop culture because I am yes. in pop culture. Yes, that's right. But look at what they're doing because we need to know what we are, what we're about, yes. and why we should be proud of our food. So Scare I Carla. unapologetically yes. love soul oh, food. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. And coming up next, Carla is going to give us some more kitchen quickies yes. that must have kitchen items quickies. that no kitchen should be without. It. So, guess what? We'll be right back. <laughs> kitchen quickies? Yes. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We thought we'd bring Carla into the kitchen 
to chat for just a little bit longer. She's giving us Carla's Kitchen Quickies, some must-have that no home chef should be without. All right, Carla. Yeah. First, let's talk about your book for 10 seconds. Your new cookbook, Carla Hall's Soul Food, you talk about celebration dishes versus everyday dishes. What's the difference? Well, I think celebration dishes are all of those dishes like mac and cheese, collard greens, I mean, not collard greens, but um, fried chicken, Ooh. oxtails, all the things that we probably have at holidays. Mm -hmm. You know, but then I, th I don't think people think of soul food as all of those seasonal vegetables that are lighter because you, you don't eat fried chicken every day. No, we try I mean, not to. Well, and also, <laughs> <laughs> Who was killing their chickens? You needed it for the eggs. Yeah. So, yeah. right? So I'm just thinking, back in the day. Maybe right. not now, but back in the day. So I think that there's a difference. And every culture has them. Italians don't eat lasagna every day. No, they don't. But I'm saying it's one of their celebration foods. Yes. Is wine a celebration food? Do we celebrate wine or is it a daily food? It's a daily thing. All oh, right. Sounds I don't good. drink, but it's, okay. a, it's a daily thing. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get into these kitchen must-haves. Yes. So let's talk mm -hmm. about an array of knives. You need sharp knives yes. because that's going to make all of your prep really easy. If you can do one cooking class, mm -hmm. I would say do a knife skills class. Okay. So I, I don't. I, don't, I will have like my utility knife, like this knife, and I'll have a paring knife. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't have all of these, and then maybe a, a serrated knife. Mm -hmm. You know, but you need sharp knives. So how often should we sharpen our knives? Um, after you use them. I mean, like. If you if you keep sharpening with a honing uh, a honing knife, mm -hmm. I mean a honing steel, mm -hmm. then it keeps them sharp. Okay. So. You don't so, have to take them to get sharpened. What about...